Today I'm going to show you how to make a, a scale model of the Fat Man atomic bomb that was dropped on Japan in the Second World War using your 3 Doodler 3D pen. So the first step is to warm up the 3 Doodler and I went on the web and I got this picture of a, a fat, the Fat Man atomic bomb and I'm, I'm going to use this as an outline to trace on. And what I did as well is I made another copy and I put these projection lines that show the general taper of the of the bomb body itself and this is what I'm going to do a tracing of to make the bomb body and I've also drawn a center line because I'm going to make a rib that follows the contour and then I'm going to make six more half ribs that only do half and then I'm going to glue them all together and as you can see the the bomb is black and yellow so you'll need black and yellow okay so I'm gonna start by tracing out a full a full rib that goes all the way around so here's my full rib that I've just pulled off now I'm going to make six half ribs and the center line is going to be the point where I stop as I trace around. And there's the first half rib. I'll just peel that off carefully. And I'll just make six, I'll just make five more like it. And then I'll start gluing things together. Okay, so here's my my main rib, and then I've got six other ribs. Now, as you can see, there is a little problem with this uh, yellow ink. It, whatever ink is left inside the machine tends to bleed out a little bit. So you see a bit of blackness on on uh, some of these. But we're going to wrap plastic around more plastic around everything, and the, the, the this little contamination won't be won't be seen much. The next step is fasten this rib at 90 degrees to the to the, fasten this rib at 90 degrees to the the full rib. Now the first rib is on there, and I'm going to put one more at 45 degrees right here, and then another one right here. And you just have to sometimes wait for it to cool and harden before you move it. And do the same at this end. And then put the next one on. And go to the end and do the same here. And there. It's half done. Now I'll flip it over and put the ribs on the other side. This will be a little trick here. It's a little little more fiddly to do. And put the remaining two ribs on and then we can start winding the outside. Okay and there's the body. Now, as you can see, I've got a problem with hair sticking out, so I'm just going to go with scissors and trim these little little hairs off, and then I'm going to start wrapping the body. Okay, on the picture you can see there's a black band in the middle, so I'm going to wrap the outside, leaving a gap in the middle, and then we'll fill in the gap later with black. So there's the first wrap around, and I'm going to keep wrapping all the way around 
until I get some more color on there and it's nice and stable. Okay, so I've got the wraps on pretty well. Um, so this will be the just the yellow. I'll put on the black later. The next step is to make these square fins. I'm going to need four flat panels, and I'm just going to do an outline four times of these of these panels. Okay, now that I have the four panels done. I'm going to fill each of them in. So I've just got the, the panels on top of plain paper and I'm just going to start filling in. Okay, I've got my four fins finished. And I'll just carefully pop them off the paper. And the next step will be to fasten them together in a square. And that can be a little tricky. So to fasten them into a square, I've got this triangle. And I'm going to hold one here, and one here, and then glue up the joint. And then I'll glue up the other two. And then I've just got to join these together and I'll have a perfect square. And there's my tail fin. And I'm just going to trim the hair off in a second here. Now the tricky part is going to be joining the, joining the tail fin with the body as the diagram here shows so I've got these electronic assemblers helping hands as they're called holding the bottom and the, the bomb itself in perfect alignment and I'm going to draw some diagonals across to hold the thing in place And since I put it on a sheet of paper, I can rotate the whole thing around, which makes it easier to get to the other side that's a little hard to get to. Now just to make it a little stronger, I'm going to double up the, the strings going across, just to make it a little, little, more, uh, little more plastic holding it in place. So that's got the fins on pretty well. And I'm just going to put some cross pieces on the bottom here. There. Now I'm just going to trim off the hair. As you can see, it's got a lot of strings hanging off there now. So now I've got it mostly the way I want. Last step is to put in the black trim that's in the middle and towards the front. And I'm just going to have to change the ink on the pen into black. Okay, so the front has got a black nose cone, so I'm going to put the black on the front here. And there's the black on the front. I'll just fill in the sides now. So there's a black stripe in the middle. And there it is, a rough 3D sketch of the Fat Man atomic bomb dropped in the Second World War.